too big to where you in inhale and look kind of really pull it back. What's up YouTube, it's Johnny Gramas back yet again with another tutorial. Today I will be teaching you how to do the dolphin split. That is one where you take a large O and you split off a smaller one and you send it in all types of directions. Before we get started, I am using the V-God Elite Mech Mod, the new new and some unreleased secretive V-God E-Juice coming soon. This trick is fairly advanced, so I'm going to label this as maybe an intermediate slash advanced trick the things that you'll need to know is how to push an o and then the rest you're just going to learn from me so first thing you want to do is push out that o whether it be with one hand or two hands you want it to have lots of momentum you want it to be quick you can do it when it's slow but when it's quick you can launch them a lot farther let me grab my professional prop this is your oh this is your o essentially what a dolphin split is is you are disconnecting the top of the O right here, and you're gonna bring it down by inhaling, connect it at the bottom, and you're going to shark bend this part as it's reattached. Once you push your O and you're approaching it, you're going to want to inhale from about 12 o'clock to five o'clock, maybe six, maybe four, but I usually go in the general area of five. When you're starting the inhale, you want to angle your head in this direction. When you're coming in like this, you're going to inhale and you wanna angle your chin up a little bit, that way no part of your head or your face is going to break this side of the O. You're going to break straight into it. You're not going to round the corners. You're going to break straight into it and connect to five o'clock. And then you're going to whip your head once you've connected those ends and you're going to suck a little bit harder just to launch it out just like a shark bend. The size of your mouth when inhaling is very, very important. You don't want it to be too small to where you can't grab hold of one end and bring it down to the other. And you don't want it to be too big to where you inhale too much and break this side of the O. You want it to be just right. What I do is about straw size or a tiny bit bigger, but you do not want to be like, <gasps> you want it to sound like a straw, like. <sighs> the speed that you break into the O is very important. You do not want it to be too slow to where you give the time to break and you don't want it to be too fast to where you actually just straight up break the O but it is a generally fast motion. I can't explain to you in miles per hour, so I'm gonna show you a few normal speed clips of me doing it. Also, it all depends on the size of the O, how fast you inhale. If it is a smaller O, you're gonna do it very quickly. If it's this size, it's still gonna be quick, but not as fast. As we say at the end of all our tutorials, practice, practice, practice. This trick took me about three hours to learn, but I was doing it nonstop because I just wanted to learn it so bad. I kept changing the angles of my head, how fast I inhale, whatnot, but finally something clicked in my head and I just started getting it every single time. But it just takes practice, practice, practice. And once you get it, it opens up a huge possibility for all types of tricks like these. Once again, I'm Johnny Gramas from VGOD. I hope this tutorial was very helpful. Comment all your feedback down below. We do take it into account. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Have a good one.